Okay, so uh, getting ready to put the uh, exhaust system back on, which is a big milestone. Uh, so I've polished it all back up, and it's come up pretty well, considering it, it wasn't in great condition. Um, but I've managed, you know, to polish it all back up pretty well. This silencer is a little bit more pitting on it um, than the rest, but you know, they're brand new silencers, and I don't want to be replacing them. Um, and so they've, they've come up nicely. So they'll be they'll be fine. Um, so fitting is pretty straightforward. So the down pipe. Um, literally just uh, is pushed in there uh, we've got a new uh, uh, sort of copper gasket although I'm not sure whether this is copper anyway it's a, a sort of crush it's a crush washing washer or cross crush gasket and that will go in first I'm gonna it's got a curved side I'm gonna put the flat side to the cylinder head um, and then you've got a lock ring and then you simply lock you know, turn in the uh, I can never remember what these are called the uh, lock ring anyway and that's it then we'll be tightening it up with this uh, special tool on the lock ring but I won't be locking I won't be moving the uh, lock tabs over yet because uh, when the bike started we'll get it really hot and then we'll tighten that back up again and then we can put the lock rings around. But you always need to start the bike, get it really hot before making a final uh, tightening of that lock ring. And then we can put the, uh, the locking washer tabs over, not before. Okay, so I'm gonna get the two down pipes on, which is uh, pretty straightforward. Oh, and uh, one thing, this uh, washer, if you can't get it uh, to stay in, it just keeps falling out when you're trying to put the the uh, downpipe on, then just put a couple of blobs of grease on the back of it and literally just stick it on uh, to the cylinder head and uh, makes just makes the job a lot easier. Right, and there we have it, the uh, exhaust back on. I'm so pleased because it's a simple job, but it makes such a difference to the way the bike looks. And I love pea shooter, these pea shooter silencers. I, I think they look fantastic on a commando. Uh, so all, all pretty straightforward, you know, to put it back together. Uh, the only thing is uh, you do have to, if you've taken these uh, brackets apart, look, there's uh, what one, there's four brackets out there all together. And it can be a bit of a jigsaw working out which one goes where, which way round they go. Um, so that's the only thing uh, to note. The other thing is put do all the bolts up loosely, everything loose until the whole exhaust is on, and then then tighten up all the bolts, but only after everything's uh, on. Uh, yeah, but very uh, very pleased. <laughs> yeah, ooh yeah. Ah, uh, good good good. Yeah, looking nice. All looking so nice now. Yeah, it makes such a difference uh, having those uh, exhaust pipes on. And it also means we're not far off from getting the bike started now. Uh, I'm still waiting for the bits to come back from the chrome platers, which is why we haven't got a rear light and, and the headlamp is still hanging there because it's the indicator stalks and then the two footrests uh, are what we're missing. Um, but... Uh, Apart from you know looking a bit uh, of a mess, we're we're actually very close to getting it started. I just need to put the tank on, uh, and that's all ready now. And uh, we'll be going for a we'll be going for a start up. And yes, uh, do get one of these tools, a uh, special tool for uh, uh, unscrewing and screwing up the the rose. That's the word I think it is, isn't it? The rose on the exhaust pipe. It suddenly come to me. Uh, yeah, just makes the job uh, so much easier. Uh, as I said before, though, these seem, these roses are different to mine. They've got these nice thick blocks every so often that you can uh, you can connect this onto, uh, you know, without and, and without fear of breaking a fin off. On mine, those blocks aren't there, so I have to do it up and undo it actually on one of the fins, which, to my surprise, have not yet broken off or bent, but. 
but uh, obviously those are better. But yeah, do invest in one of those.